Okay, I use a discussion on Schoology for my asynchronous attendance check-in. So I'm going to show you how I do this, you know, relatively quickly. It's not so bad. I kind of front load it. So I'm in my practice course right now, and I have an asynchronous discussion check-in. The last one I got prepared was on, <clears throat> on the 12th. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this. And the next school day is the 15th, the 13th, and it is um, asynchronous. You know, your schedule might be different, but ours is asynchronous in the morning. And then I am going to write a new question. I leave this set of directions every time. So uh, what is your favorite season? So um, sometimes I make it a little bit more personal, a little bit more reflective, and sometimes it's just a fun question. So I make it, this is, um, the font size is 16. I um, It's bold and in another color to just make it stand out. All I do here is I change the date. Um, that's the basically the end of the school day. Okay, so they have to reply by then in order to be marked present. So then I click Save Changes. Every once in a while it republishes itself in you know, kind of an annoyance. I just have to unpublish it. Then I'm going to copy to a course so I can have it ready. I pick one of my courses to copy it to, and I always just pick anatomy, and I put it in the asynchronous check-in folder, and I copy it. Now I'm going to edit this because the way ours works, then we have a group that's going to be PM asynchronous, and after the 13th, that next date would be the 16th. I can use the same question, totally different group of kids. All I need to do is change the due date, click save changes, click here, go copy to course. Okay, I put it in the asynchronous check-in folder, click copy. All right, so when I go to my anatomy course and I go into the asynchronous check-in folder, you can see I have prepared ahead all of these asynchronous discussion questions. They're ready to go. All I do on the day of is first step, publish it. Next step, copy it to any other courses I need it for that day. Okay, I found that this to be the fastest way to get all of um, the asynchronous discussions in the right location. Okay, so I build it in my practice course. I literally just have this one at the top that I just keep modifying all the time. All right, so <clears throat> there you have it. A way to use asynchronous discussion, check-ins.